Hey YouTube, Vicky S here. Okay, so this is a really weird, it's not a really weird video, it's not really a dare or a challenge, it's just something I wanted. And yes, that is a sleeping beauty up there. I uh, also I think it's got Cinderella on. It's a blankie which I've hung up for like, to make a little den behind that, and it's really old blanky, so I don't mind it getting torn a tiny bit. And I, when I say really old, I mean like from when I was four, five, three? I don't know. Anyway, so this video is going to be me singing, I know, so if you <laughs> just want to get now, so if you want to, if you don't want to hear me singing, go off. I know I'm not very good, and my high notes are so bad, but I'll try and quiet those down. Anyway, I've got the actual original singing in the back set in the back, in the background, um, here, and sorry if I stumble on some words because I've not really been learning this flung. But for Christmas, I got, for Christmas, I got some Ever After High Dolls. I got Poppy and Holly O'Hare, and yes, they're wearing, well, she's wearing the dress that Holly came in, but, and that's a dress of my own, um, from when I was little, but anyway, yeah, these, they aren't dressed in what they come in, apart from, like, the tiaras and shoes. Tiara's shoes, belts. She's wearing her jacket and and um, earrings. That's probably about it. And her hair's even up when it should be down. But yeah, so they're just like that. And I also got Raven Queen, who that's already a doll's dress. And that those leggings are from Poppy. Uh, this one. Um, but the rest of them are, are her clothes. And I've got her hair up. I was trying to make it look a little less evil. But anyway, here we go. And this will be featuring them if I remember. Anyway, so here we go. Prepare for some torch. <laughs> God, this is gonna be hard. Anyway. <laughs> They told you everything was waiting for you They told you everything was set in stone It's, But now you're feeling like a different ending Sometimes you gotta find it on your own It's an open book, a road in reverse A brand new hook, forget that curse It's a rebel class with a royal heart Rewrite, ignite, restart Cause it's your life it's your time Go for words Or rewind Cause you're a royal, you rebel, you more Now and together, however you go Ever and ever after I Royal, you rebel, you more Now and together, however you go Ever and ever after I Ever after high Ooh. Pick a lock, one o'clock, turn the tables Blaze your mind till you make your mark Them queens and queens are gonna light the skyway All you need is a little spark No more once upon a time No more verse, no more rhyme No more permanent ink this is not what you think It's a rebel class with a royal heart Rewrite, ignite, restart Cause it's your life It's your time Go forward Or rewind Cause you're a royal, you rebel, you mourn Now and together, however you go Forever Girl, high royal, you rebel. Now and together, however you go, ever and ever after. High, but beauty isn't what it seems. Ooh, sometimes a beast will dare to dream. Cause it's your life, it's your time. Go forward Or rewind One, two, three, four Royal, you rebel, you more Now and together, however you go Ever, ever, ever 
Dirt high, royal, you rebel, you more Now when together, however you go, ever, ever after high, rebel, you more Now when together, however you go, ever and ever after high, royal, you rebel, you more Now when together, however you go, ever and ever after high. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, maybe that was a challenge. <laughs> God, at the start of that, I, I had a boy chesty voice. My, I got like, I don't know, my voice went really chesty. <clears throat> I couldn't cough or stop for a minute. <laughs> it's going my throat. And my dolls are falling on the phone. Things started coming out their hairs. And they, and they were just going everywhere. And I was literally, at the end, I swear I was talking American. <laughs> I was swinging in some sort of American accent. Oh my God, that was as as Apple White would say, Doris, no way. <laughs> she would say, that was fairly uncool. Actually, no, it was more like fairly odd or something. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that was, um, maybe that was a narrow challenge. Ooh, let's see if this fits me. So, a little head. Mm. Oh, I know, I know how it'll fit me, really. Uh, about, mm, uh, I just need about there. Did I fits me? Well, I've got a hand in the way, so it's not good. Okay, let's try it with the crown. Mm. There, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's try this one. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, there? There? Mm. Anyway. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's my birthday tomorrow. Yay! So excited. That's another ever after, I think. I'm taking up. Try now. Um... It's uh, my birthday tomorrow, and I'm 13, and I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. It's actually... When I'm filming this right now, it will be in about 5 hours and 25 minutes. Um, from what I've just looked on my computer, that's the time um, until it's my birthday. No, I haven't got a time run. I've just calculated it. Anyway, <laughs> I can't wait. I really can't wait. I've already got a present here from my aunt, and I know it's never after I dogs. It's in the same shape. The box the parcel um, present is you can tell the shape um, of the box that it's an Ever After High doll and I'm hoping it's Cerise Hood or the Little, Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf yes there's supposed to be multiple enemies but in there they're in love in Ever After High anyway, and um, Madeline Hatter daughter of the Mad Hatter oh my god she's so but she's amazing right, anyway I'm hoping I get those I'll, uh, I know I didn't do that video of me on the canal boat um, and I'm, oh, I'm sorry about that, but I, um, I kind of stopped filming after about two days because I thought, well, it's going to be very boring and it's probably going to go on for ages. I decided I wouldn't put that video on of Edinburgh, not unless loads of people asked me to, because it, again, it could go on for about an hour at the very most. I'm not sure. Could actually go on for a couple of hours. I'm not sure. And I, plus most of it's on my camera wherever it is. I think my camera's in my drawer or something. I know. Um, so yeah, it could take a while. But, but I was going to have a sleepover, a sleepover pamper party tomorrow, because uh, I'm 13. But um, one friend is grounded, the other has to go to the hospital, and then the other I've only met once, um, even though she's my best friend. Well, we're cool, best, we're meant to be best friends, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, um, so I didn't think her mum, I told her that it was off because I didn't think her mum would let her come to a stranger's house for a, house for a sleepover, to, to a house that was for a sleepover of, with, of a girl who she's only met once and she doesn't really know. So that's why she's um, the friend that connects us all together who uh, introduced me. To the uh, to the one that's grounded, um, introduced me to the other two. Um, it, well, she can't come obviously. So, but on Saturday I'm going to the zoo, which I'm really happy about. I'm going to the zoo with a friend who I've not seen in years, but I've been chatting to. Um, but yeah, I'm not chatting to, like chatting over uh, social media. But yeah, I'm really happy about that, and I can't wait. God, was that? God, I think that was like my tummy. God, that's weird. It's like I'm not hungry, but I am hungry. <laughs> anyway, um. God, my tummy keeps rumbling. I'll have to go and get something to eat. Yeah, anyway, I have an enormous amount to tidy up. Um, but one last thing, which I have to save, and then my mum told me not to. 
I, I have to tell you. I have to. I just have to tell you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If any of you are Doctor Who fans or know about Doctor Who, you will know that this is a card, right? This is a card. Old Doctor Who. I love it. Absolutely love it. I thought it was a birthday card when I first got it. But then you open it. And it's from Peter Capaldi, the 14th, uh, not 14th, the 12th Doctor, the current Doctor. It says, to Vicky, thank you so much for your Xmas card. Well done, it's brilliant. Um, on the card it says, he's wrote, written this all, but on the card it's printed, exterminate in the middle. Um, the reason he's asked, saying thank you for Xmas card was because I drew this card, um, which had a kind of like a drawing version of Nick Frost and the two elves sorry I don't know their names uh, Nick Frost who plays Santa in the Doctor Who Christmas special Last Christmas um, it, the episode was called Last Christmas um, this last last year's Christmas episode I guess you would say but um, yeah um, and I drew a card and I it was meant for the whole BBC crew um, but my mum sent it to Peter Capaldi I didn't know that sounds a bit snobbish, doesn't it? Yeah, sorry. No, I didn't know, because I was like, I didn't know. <laughs> no, um, I didn't know she'd sent it off, but she told me I'm in Canal Boat, and I was like, seriously? Well, I didn't expect him to get it, because she sent it to his old house, but he got it, and he sent me this back, and I'm really, really happy and really excited. Anyway, it says, after Well Done It's Brilliant, he says, Glad you like the programme and continue to like it in 2015. Have a... Great Xmas and a brilliant and brilliant New Year from the all the best from Peter Capaldi and he wrote that all in his hand. He even wrote the envelope in his hand, but obviously I can't show you that because it's got my address on and I've been keeping it in this. I only got it yesterday, but and I said this is the best birthday present ever. And he sent me this, which that is not printed. That is his actual signature. He's actually signed this, and if I ever meet him in person. I'm going to thank him so much. And, um, let's get this on the back. So, he's actually signed this himself, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. I'm really, really happy, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm over the moon. I, I yeah, keep him together in this little thing. And my mum's promised me she'll get me, well, my mum and dad have promised me they will get me a frame, hopefully two side, a double sided frame so I can keep this on my desk and I can where it is now but in a frame actually I don't think it's a good news frame it's found in here but anyway um, so that I'll always have it there because it, it's just a really amazing thing I, I have got some doc some of the doctors um, I think it was 5th and 8th and possibly 6th um, possibly just 6th and 5th um, anyway I got their autographs when I was at a doctor and that's what it was yeah, but I got their, their autographs when I was at a Doctor Who convention um, on the 50th anniversary. I, I actually went to the convention on the 50th anniversary. And I got loads of the Companions autographs too, but this is actually amazing because they were at the convention. So obviously when you're at a convention, you're going to get autographs of, your, of these stars, of these characters. But for him to send this of his own free will and to write this card and to write it in his own hand, that is really special to me and I'm it's the best br birthday present ever I mean I bet he didn't mean it to send it as a birthday present but to me it's a birthday present and it's the best ever and anyway, I so I doubt he'll ever watch this but if he does I, I keep going those <laughs> anyway, if he does um thank you bye wait teddies bye wait 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 I shouldn't say teddy should I I should say and I should say, excellent Doctor Who. No, excellent Hooven. I, I can't say Hoovani. Who? Huna. Huna. Hooven. <laughs> excellent Hoovani. Bye. <laughs> See you. Bye. Teddy. Okay, so I forgot to say that because this is um, tomorrow's my birthday, I forgot to say that um, this is because you can see I've done two braids, so you can see that this is. I'm doing this bit on my laptop. This is um, at a later date. 
I'm about half an hour, 50 minutes um, later from when I said what time it was um, earlier um, in this vid. But yeah, so because today is the day before my birthday, that means that today is the last ever day that I will be 12. And I am, um, I wanted it to be a good day, and I think it has been. Yeah, so good. But there's something else I want to say is because tomorrow I'm 13 on season, this is my last day, it's 12, I've got, oh god, <coughs> sorry about that, I've got about, I've got less than 5 hours until I'm 13, so this will probably, this will probably be the last ever day of me being 12 years old and my last, well, obviously it'll be my last, pro obviously it'll be, what was I saying? Uh, obviously it'll be the last day of me being 12, but I meant it, this would probably, um, well, what I meant to say was not probably be the last day of me being 12, because it's obviously the last day of me being 12, but I meant to say was this will probably be my last vid that I will film when I am 12 years old, and yeah, so this is the last ever vid I will do when I am 12 years old, so um, hmm. See you tomorrow on my birthday when I'm 13 years old. Bye again.